Oh, gonna get an early start. Um, the tournament is today. We're not fishing in the tournament. We are kind of just gonna be observers and uh, shoot it for them. And uh, then we're gonna go poke around and see if we can find some fish too. So absolutely beautiful morning here. Um, we haven't been up north, you know, on the west coast in such a long time. And I forgot how beautiful this place is up, up north and, and everything's so big and <laughs> it's just amazing. Absolutely gorgeous up here. We're here in Mucha Bay at the mouth of the Kanuma River. We have uh, 58 entrants this year. And uh, we're out here this morning. It's just coming on to seven o'clock and uh, we're waiting for the action to happen. The kayak parking lot down here. Yeah, Jim, let's uh, keep going down towards the river mouth here. This is a tournament I've heard of for years. And it's always been kind of a small grassroots local kayak fishing tournament. You know, we're kind of remote and for them to have 60 anglers show up to me is just beyond belief. Um, I think one of the most interesting things to me was they had a large percentage of women in this tournament. Something, you know, I don't see nearly as much in the U.S. Sure, I mean, we get some women in the tournaments in the U.S. You might get four or five at a tournament with 200, but they probably had 10 here in a tournament of 60. And the year I won, Tesha, the girl who has the cat ears on right now, she has like a orange kayak. She got the second, third, and fourth place fish. Do you want us to uh, get a weigh on that? Do you need weight on that? <laughs> it's nice, you can meet her fish down here. And with the dragonfly, I can actually follow the lure down to the right depth. You can actually see your lure go down to right where you want it. So I'll be hooking up any second now. <laughs> you know, we come to Canada usually once a year, um, sometimes twice. Uh, we were up here twice this year. I don't know that we've ever had a bad fishing trip to Canada. I mean, there is so much fishing and variety of fishing. I mean, even at this one location, they have very good resource management up here. So most of the species are doing well and are doing really strong. I live on the east side of Vancouver Island in Courtney. I come out here to guide in the summertime for one reason, and that's the numbers of fish and the consistency of fishing. For a kayak angler, it's really a super ideal location because you just literally, you can catch fish just straight out in front of the resort. I mean, it, 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 they're right there. And then if you want to bring fish home, like we're bringing a little bit of fish home from this trip, you know, they're going to fillet it up, they're going to vacuum pack it, they're going to pack it nice and box it all up, so it's really easy for you to transport home. <laughs> You're like, this is, yeah, baby. I totally caught this. Yeah, I, this is all me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So our first place winner is Eric with his 19.2 pound. Yes, a little bit of luck and right place at the right time. Having fun and uh, just enjoying it. Three for the photo. One, two, three. It's so easy when you come to Canada to get away. I mean. You have the big city, sure, but it's very easy to get away from all that. Within a couple hour drive, you can be out in the middle of nowhere on some small lake or on a stream or whatever and getting on some fish of a lifetime, fish that you won't see in the lower states. I mean, it, it's, I absolutely love coming to Canada to fish. It's one of my favorite places ever. 